tissue. I don't need no tissue. Then they go, I believe. I believe. I don't want to fight all the time. All the time, all the time. I don't want to fight all the time. This is a remix to the mission. I didn't fresh out this kitchen. Mama getting hot tied, she can't switch up position. Fish is not. Y'all niggas crazy. <laughs> Folks out here all the time. Yo, y'all. So I wonder if you flip them on their back in the face. But wait, because this R. Kelly and Michael Jackson stuff is getting just crazier and crazier. Like, yeah, true. first of all, they kicked off the Survivor R. Kelly's dick. Whole six episode situation, Lifetime did that. Oh, that was know. it was long, it was very drawn out, but you you had about six, seven different women in the series alone. That all need to be in jail. The women? Yes, come on. And and then you also got some parents there too because you know we got other girls, the two girls that are still dating him now that are his active girlfriends. Quick question. That also needs a quick question. If you are a family member, if you're a father and you've spoken out for your daughter and all that, and then she crimp like she uh villainized you the way she did her family publicly, do you still fight for her to come back? Um wait. We can hold that for Okay, that's, 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 okay. Thank you. No, that's cool. Because I am the host tonight. And I keep trying to tell these niggas, ball is in my court. But you don't As have, I was saying. But you don't have ball. Court. As I was saying. <laughs> as I was saying. It contrasts though. Now we got Michael Jackson, another musical icon, who is under the microscope right now. And this is dealing with young boys. And I mean young boys. Not 13, not 14, not 15, not 16, but these kids were 7, they were 10. These were young boys that now Michael Jackson, they have these strong accusations of Michael Jackson being with them. And these were these were allegations that also stem before he passed. Like he whole had this stuff in the news, had to go to court for it. Like it was real. So it's like now, years later, everything is surfacing. Like a lot of their music we have grown up on, our parents have raised us to listen to. It's it's a crazy it's a crazy time to be in right now as far as the music aspect, and then knowing what's going on behind the scenes and some of the songs and stuff that we love. So it's like, what do y'all think about this stuff right now? Is Michael Jackson a pedophile, like officially, officially. If y'all say leave it Neverland, if so, let us know what y'all think. Like, because I'm just I'm taken aback by everything. Like, my thing is, I'm gonna see where I'm wrong with this. Where was his brothers? I, Michael Jackson was the baby boy I, of of his brothers, and you said well, it's, it's like it's like uh, where where right. Where were the adults in his life who loved him so much, who cared for him so much, who knew, who knew that this did not look right, this did not feel right, this does not sound right. You are a musical icon, you're a musical genius, but you're keeping the company of small young children. Why is that okay? And these children have no biological relation to you. I could see if it was nephews and nieces kicking it with Uncle Mike. Uncle Mike don't have kids, but guess what? He'll treat his household or his demeanor as if he really does want kids. You do have some of those men out there who can't have kids or may not want to have kids just yet, but they cherish their own nieces and nephews as if they were their own. So it's almost like all, all the whole Michael Jackson story when they was young, all they talked about was how hard his father was on them. Where was that father's opinion right now? At this point, he has no control over Michael Jackson's career, I would say. I'm going to say that. But well, even still, Jackson, even still, his mother, his brothers, his sisters, you come from a big family of siblings. Like, where was some of this, some of this constructive criticism? Like, we love you, bro, but you hang with us. We are your peers. Your siblings, we are your peers. Not a seven-year-old child from... Australia and another 10 year old child from the United States like none of that adds up to me so my opinion on it is it's unfortunate that they're coming out with it now because I feel like right or wrong you deserve two sides to the story right now we got one side 
And in the past, those same individuals who are speaking out now have went on record, have went on court record saying nothing ever happened to them. Granted, they was kids, right? Could have been court. What's the word? Cohorts. 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 Could have been cohorts. Cohorts. Could have been bride, whatever the case may be. This is my whole thing about the leaving Neville. I agree with all the negativity. I think it's about money. I think it's about attention. I think it's about people trying to gain a, a career jump off of it. Uh, one of the dudes has opened up a nonprofit and he's accepting donations for uh, abuse, sexually abused kids and all that, right? I agree with that. But if Michael Jackson did five percent, if he did one percent of the things that they accuse him of, he wrong. They could they could be lying about the majority of it and just be like, I seen him naked. He used to be naked in front of me. He wrong. They could be lying about the the sex and the molestation and say we took showers together. He wrong. Uh -huh. You get what I'm saying? So, could they be saying things for the camera? Very true. I don't think 100% of their allegations is false. And if 1% of their allegations is true, he wrong. If you spend the night with boys in your bed, you don't have to touch them. You don't have to, to do anything sexual. That's creepy as hell. So, regardless of how true they are, it's not how true, it's the fact that if any of them is true, he's wrong. Why is this relevant to, like, he did, we talking about a person who's dead, so if these actions, whether they're true or not, they're not continually going on. That's why I say I agree with the um, fact that they bringing it up at a time that's very beneficial. It's highly them. relevant. You get what I'm saying? Because like, they're going as far as is, is to the extent of, of, of not only removing his music, a statue has already been removed. And not only is he going to jeopardize, you know, his music and everything that's going on, but you also got to think like this. Oh, God, I just lost my train of thought that fast. No, <laughs> but like, come back to me. no, but like he, 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 that he missing music, he going he gonna lose money. Not he, but his estate. His estate oh, was I know what it was. His family's they're family. trying to exhume his body for evidence. Like they're trying to that's why I was unbury talking. his body from his burial plot in his hometown. Okay, that's why I was talking. Just to get evidence for these evidence. claims. Now, now after the leaving of Neverland, there were only two main young boys who said that this happened to another adult. Since that recording, there have been ten more allegations. That has been held against Michael Jackson, and at that point, they are arguing and, and really fighting to try to exhume his body for DNA testing to to just to confirm that these allegations and and these accusations are true. And I just think that's to the extreme. Like this person cannot defend themselves, even still. And he has he's passed and he has gone. When you guys had that opportunity in court, that was that parents decision to make that call what's happening to their child quick question can i say something what's different between that and r kelly playing paying that little girl off to say nothing there is no difference he guilty there is no difference you know what I'm because in the michael he's, jackson case he's still it guilty. sounds it's like very that it's unfortunate. coming from he came to the parents himself. were quiet because of money in the Michael Jackson's um, docu series, one of the parents said it was all good with traveling, and it was okay for my son to sleep in this hotel room by himself with Michael Jackson, and we be next door. Yeah, I mean, do but then all? when we got to Paris, we were on a completely different floor on a whole other side of the hotel, and all of that they could continue to say, like the more and more of, of these parents allowed Michael to travel with their kids and sleep with their kids. The further away Michael kept the parents, he would put the rooms in different, in different wings of the hotel, just as 
Mar- like, so um, said, is it the parent R. Kelly would take parents? away the would take away the communication of the family and the parents. I kind of want to hear what Terry got to say though. We, I just feel like say it's the parents or Michael Jackson fault. It starts with the parents. Um, overall, that's your child. The, more specifically with the Michael Jackson situation, with both situations, R. Kelly and Michael Jackson. I don't feel like enough accountability is going across the board, but I feel like uh, if they did anything with kids, as you said, it, one percent, they need to be in jail. Absolutely, um, especially in R. Kelly's case. Um, now, with the Michael Jackson documentary, didn't see it yet. Um, I don't. Honestly, I don't care about it as much. I don't know if it's because I don't empathize with white people that much, but I don't. Mm-hmm. Um, I get what you're saying. It just, is it more so just saying you're not empathizing with the victims? Is that what you're saying? Or you don't want to hear how that's turning it. Michael Jackson into a monster? I mean, that's what got me to want to know what's really Whether going they turn on. Whether they're turning Michael Jackson into a monster or not. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Even if they turn Michael Jackson into a monster, it's just one of those things where like he's dead, he's gone. Like I just, it's just not that relevant to me overall. Like it is, it it come down everything about it, whether it be that it's, um, I just don't empathize with white people as much naturally. Um, what were these stories on the stand? All right, so that that's that, and then with the R. Kelly situation, I just feel like it's not enough accountability going around to everybody else. Very true. He should absolutely be in jail. Those parents should be in jail too. Everybody who was aware of the second the girl that was girl seventeen was having the threesomes with the girl that was seventeen. She should be in jail too. All these people who coming out saying like, "Oh yeah, this was happening, this was happening, this was happening." Motherfucker, you knew his him. manager, the like, whole everybody team. Everybody needs to everybody needs to be in case. court for the same case. So I agree. That that that's my thing that I got a problem with as far as that's concerned. Um, but uh, other than that, like you know. I don't know. I, I feel like it's. I, I've heard people say like, "Why Jesus made a comment that said in the last nine months they got Bill Cosby, uh, R. Kelly, Michael Jackson. It's an agenda against black men." You know what I'm saying? Like, to, yeah. Remember since you got that article about Richard Pryor? Yeah, yeah. that was yeah. old. Quince, and, but Quincy Jones said that another black man is the one that put that. And up. someone yeah. who's up who Quincy Jones is fourteen year olds. So. Yeah, and then another, you know, with um. We talking about uh, Harvey Weinstein and how it's no documentary. Before. Where is this documentary? But, I mean, Elvis so, Presley. So, yeah, Elvis now, is a wild boy. Now that, that, that one for sure, but the Harvey Weinstein one, I feel like, hopefully it's coming. But Harvey Weinstein's situation is kind of new. It came out with a year ago. We've been knowing about R. Kelly and, and, and Michael Jack And R. Kelly and Michael Jackson for about a decade. So yeah. it, it's a lot easier to put out a, a documentary about something going on for 10 years versus something going on for not even 10 months. You know what I'm saying? Um, but hopefully that, that Harvey Weinstein documentary is coming. Elvis needs to come out. Y'all need to make that his wife was You team. know what's crazy? In the um, <laughs> in the, in the, in the, in the, the in R. Kelly. And she was his cousin. In the R. Kelly, <laughs> yeah, in the R. Kelly like docu series though, it's it definitely shine light on those celebrities and some of those I artists. I feel like a lot did. And it included it included Elvis, how he, he was, was in love with Priscilla, and she was only fourteen years and old. She was his cousin, and they she was child. only fourteen years old. And he was in love with that girl. So I'm just saying, like, I totally, I totally agree with they YG. Made to Elvis. You, you're taking the opportunity to shoot down a lot of African American legends right. that don't be named wrong. You get what I'm saying? Wrong. You get what I'm saying? I, 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 like, 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 like is, is, yeah. Are y'all targeting? Of course, y'all targeting. Yeah. But y'all a good ass job at Target. Because yeah. these are cases that are a hundred percent facts. Well, you get what I'm saying? hundred percent facts is strong. Well, all right. facts are strong. well, they're facts that at some point they're guilty. That's what I meant, hundred percent. At some yeah, at like some they, they need to be some type of Exactly. At some at some level these men are guilty. But are you targeting black men specifically? I think yes, so. Yes, and guess I what? So. Because the man that needs to be on that stand, guess what? They're your golf buddies. They're your co-workers. Okay, they, are they, they are president. <laughs> you know? Like, you know? Sure got and at the end of the day, so. it's also all about politics, too. It's all about politics. It's all mm-hmm. about politics. Here they were saying, here they were saying in the, in the um, R. Kelly series that R. Kelly got quite a few friends that are of, oh, see, that are... Chicago police officers. 
that that don't surprise me. Yeah, that's not surprising. And so for these wellness checks, Shout out to the CBD. parents at the end of the day, wow. these parents wow. don't even still really know what's going on. Because guess wow. what? Some of these police officers were also close friends of uh, yeah, R. Kelly. Yeah, and guess what? Yeah, you don't rock with your friend. Especially well, if you put money in your pocket. He you put money in your pocket. He don't, that, that's probably why he's been untouched for so long. All let these wellness checks. He has so many let, let me let me take this shit left brain for a second though, like on some whole oh, left field type shit though. Like when I think about like they gonna exhume Michael Jackson mm-hmm. body to bring up, you know what I'm saying? Like he's dead, but we're gonna go back and find it's evidence still- to make a new case. Mm-hmm. I'm not a person who's um, I don't have faith in America in the system. I don't have faith in what America do for black people. I definitely There's a lot of people who still waiting on 48 to come you. I know people my age who we wouldn't even, that's way past, way before our generation, who still like, we need our reparations, who get that shit out of here. But at the same time, if you can go back, if we can go back and pull up graves to get fucking DNA to get for new. For new cases, why the fuck can't we say all these billionaires trace back their lineage to these slave masters and say, let's break Sam Wall the countdown to and, all of our people and, and send to black people? Like all these fucking billionaires, these big ass okay. You know what I'm saying? Like if we can go, if we can go okay. back and do that, let's go back and trace like, Valid. oh. Why are we gonna get these this, this money for these reparations that he finds like, like Uber? That's valid. That's valid. That's, 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 that's valid. Like, like we gonna do that shit. So, but anyway, I don't know, man. Like the Michael Jackson shit, for some reason it just don't it don't do nothing for me. It's not like I hope that those victims get their justice. The R. Kelly shit, like, I'm more invested in. You know what I mean? Now neither one of them is like artists that I listen to on a day to day basis. They just before my time. But at the same time, you know what I mean? Like, if they. You said R. Kelly's before your time? Never going to have one baby. No, like, that's, that's, I was a child. You, you know have what I'm saying? You like, literally went half on the baby. That was a trick question. They, I'm saying, I'm not listening. You listen to R. Kelly on a regular basis? What was I saying with R. Kelly? Maybe you do. I don't yeah, know. I don't listen to R. Kelly. I'm not right. listening to R. Kelly. You're right. I'm not listening to R. Kelly. You're not getting bonus. You're not getting bonus. <laughs> right. not, I'm not bonus to R. Kelly, no, but. You bone into R. Kelly? I said I'm not, not going to look I said like I'm like not going to bone into R. Kelly. You wrong. You said, you said hot. You said hot. I am not. I am not going to bone into R. Kelly. You bone into R. Kelly. But. I mean, no. Previously, this shit was kind of in my time. I'm just saying, I don't listen to that shit. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm not sitting up listening to that shit. Nah, I, 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 I'm yeah. just saying. Like, he, he has some hits. That's all I'm saying. He has some hits that... You just had some hits. <laughs> you put on this bill. I did not put on for this man's bill. I, I, I absolutely disagree with everything, everything that he has done and, you, and that, that he has done to these ladies. To I completely disagree. How that much? Of, how much of what, of what he did? Do y'all think he's actually good? Like, you think in this time and era, did he have the? The sex cult at his house, or do you think he's still in this era, still fucking? With I feel like yes. Like, I don't stop. think yes because it shows. I don't think there's nothing wrong with the sex cult. There's something wrong with having you sex. You want him? Listen, there's something wrong with having sex with underage girls. But if you have a house full of girls who want to be sexually controlled, that that people have different kinks. Then there's nothing wrong with him having multiple women. That he have sex with and they're into his same kinks. I mean, let's now if he go, if he going it against their will and all that stuff, I'm getting what? About girls. What? Okay, what's the difference in what he may do with one girl than the fucking movie uh, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey? Or you have to Exactly. Like, then there's nothing wrong with having multiple women. I never and, said there was nothing wrong with so, women. I'm no, saying that they are. Girl. But that's a that's a sex you that's so a sex cult. Like Hugh Hefner, Hugh Hefner, Hugh Hefner, the sex cult. It made billions. Like, well, probably not billions. No, she's so. saying she's saying girls. She's saying. I'm saying okay. Like that, and I agree with that. If they're underage, they're they're underage, 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 well, it's new evidence out, so I say I have to see the evidence. You get what I'm saying? The new evidence is something 
prior though. No, no, no. But, but okay, okay, well, I don't know how prior it is, but it, apparently it's a new t- like a new tape yeah, out. Is what he's currently being is. tried for. Yeah. If that tape is true, if that tape is true, how is it? It my it. thing is like, how was you doing shit that wild and everybody got taped? Like, what? How the fuck was this shit getting? Out? But but this is my thing. It's a legit VHS. It's a new tape. VHS that somebody found in a crib. Dude, the perv. He's a fucking liar. He was he holding it. Oh, he said, it. I got a question. You know, I got a question. And you I find, find you find an R. Kelly sex tape. Mm-hmm. You could probably expose this thing for two hundred fifty thousand. But morally, I'm going bigger than that. But morally, mm, she so answered the question. I heard. <laughs> oh, but hey, morally. You know that you should turn your shit into the police to get justice for this little girl that you just watched get fucked. Do you get the money or do you turn it in? Do you turn it in or do you go get that money? Are you selling that tape back to R. Kelly for that two hundred fifty thousand or however much you? Or are you gonna do the moral right thing and go turn that tape into the police? <laughs> and this is a tape from the nineties. It is two thousand nineteen. If it's from the nineties, I'm getting that money. <laughs> What if it's oh, listen, listen. What if it's from 2019? What if it's just what if it's just happened? If it's new, he's smart. That's what I'ma do. If it's not, I'm gonna be honest. I'm sorry. If it's new, if it's new, he smart. And it's because that little girl is still out there as a little girl. If it's from 2009, whether it be emotionally, mentally, physically damaged, whatever has happened to that girl. It's happened. I don't I think. Mean, what happened to the girl who just got fucked? That's happened too. Like, but you turn it in, ain't gonna stop but that. I, but but, but, I, but I, I feel like I will hope she can be safe. I will hope somebody can reach out. You gonna be safe? <laughs> what you talking about? I will hope somebody can reach out and help that little girl. But <laughs> if it's 2019, you just spent the last decade dealing with it. Shorty, I can't take this. <laughs> You're like. I'm not, I'm like, I'm not trying to be bogus, but that was 10 years, 10 years ago, I was in jail. You can't take me out of jail 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I was facing 15 years. Can you change the that green, for me? The green no, green. so I'm sorry I'm getting that bread from 2009, from 2009. The green Currently, green. you going to jail. 2009, I'm going to take No, I see it's like it's like a. I'm it's, sorry, see, I need, I need, you I'm, already asked the question. I want to have my cake and eat it too. So you gonna put him in jail and get the bread? Yes. You know, like, you're the type of nigga need to sign the NDA. Ah, you. Like, you, you that is crazy. What can I tell her? You the type of female Trump. First of all, nigga, you knew better when you shot shit. Trump make him sign the You knew better when you shot shit. You, 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 you knew better when you knew she was underage. I'm pretty shot sure she was gonna The morality. It's definitely taking it to the police. I only have two copies. One to get back to the nigga that shot it, and one to get to the police. I don't want to look at the entertainment, and I don't want to exploit this young girl. So at you, all. Gonna, you gonna call him and tell him I need this money, cool? Or your dick is gonna be all over America. Spin move. He recorded it. Now you caught up. Mm-hmm. See. How he know I'm not recording? He gotta admit it. He gotta admit it. He gotta admit it. He knows it's another thing. You don't even know that story. You don't even know that story. I do. I don't don't mention the money. I don't mention the money he knew. I let him mention the money. Oh, so what you want for it? Exactly. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You found him a special text. Hold tight on the body. Hold tight on the check. What you gonna do to stop this whole time? The fact Dude, that the man that part was a little comfortable. He gonna haul that you. Definitely not gonna haul that me. How much you gonna pay so people won't see you haul that? Nothing gonna be haul that. We Puerto Ricans, we know what to do with hauls. So you did this shit before? Caught you. <laughs> you been haul that? No. No. Like no. No. Yeah. No. My dad do that though. He like he to smoked me. Whoa. That's the Puerto Rican whoa. thing. To your OG. No, he got a smoker. And you walk in the room and see him on the hall tap? It's the Puerto Rican thing to smoke. <laughs> you ever walk in the room and see him on the hall tap? He was like, <laughs> Anyway. Your mom walked in the room and saw you hall tap. Mom walked in the room. <laughs> so, you got caught fucking before? Wild as hell. Oh, that is a whole nother conversation. It was comical. Uh, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was one of the best ways to get caught having sex ever. And oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. How was crazy. it? What position was it? First of all, Um, I, I, I would do the best of both. I, I would do the best of both. 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 I would do
type of compensation for it because nigga you knew better and um I got bills. But the morale of me, but see, it's conflicting because if this was my daughter on camera and somebody got this X amount of dollars for selling a tape that had my daughter on it, I would be disgusted as a parent, first of all. I would be disgusted as a parent, first of all. So it's like. It all depends on the mindset. Like, like I said, it's, it's two different mindsets to me. The oh, greedy, the greedy me, the greedy me, the the cracker car Chicago mindset. Cause yeah, every every person you in Chicago, you not a criminal, but you gotta think like a motherfucking criminal to survive. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? This is just some Chicago shit. How much would you pay? Before you get the next, you gotta know. How much would you pay the whole time? <laughs> Either way, either way, either way, turn it into the authorities. Turning it into the authorities is the right thing to do. Let me do. see your whole time. Because this is somebody else's child. Hey, listen. If you decide to get money from it, that's your choice. What position was you called all so the time? Call all the time. What position were you called all the time? We can say that for another episode. I was, I'm gonna be, I was called Eden Cooch. What position was you called? It was wow. I'm talking about legs now. I'm gonna be just being like. My bed on the wall. I'm like this, bumping over the room. Up. <laughs> <laughs> what position was you called, bro? Let me keep it real. I was kind of two positions. <laughs> Whoa. They came at once? Was it a three? Was no. it a three? Was it we talking about? No. Hey, no. Train. You got to call two positions. Two positions. Okay. Because it was the same session, but this person came in twice in like a four hour span. Time out! Time out! They walk in on y'all fucking initially. <laughs> y'all shut up, bro! Because if you do the first time, don't come the second time. Uh, you would know better than him. What is you coming back for? We not done. <laughs> Jimmy just started. Y'all yeah, like motherfuckers to watch. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. motherfuckers to watch. What was the first position? All I'm saying is it was two positions. What was the first position? Oh, come on, give us one, give us one. Between like a three to four hour span. What was the first? Time. What was the first? I'm gonna have to disclose that. Two D. I don't have to oh, disclose that. Oh, that was one of them. Two D. That was one of them. What of them was two D. I'm not gonna disclose it. this. What of them was two D. I'm not gonna disclose this. But anyway. Um, it was your hog tie. Anyway, whether you be in a hog tie or. <laughs> You leave in Neverland, it is not okay. Oh shit. It is not okay to hey. accept any sexual abuse from any person of any financial background or stature. I don't care what their what what type of celebrity they are. If you know that shit is wrong, that shit is wrong. Listen to your family. Know that your family Let's don't want what's best for you. And that's what a lot of people kind of kept out was the family. A lot of the predators, I'm not gonna say predators, but like, yeah, predators. Because right now, Michael Jackson and R. Kelly are considered predators at this day and age right now. It's kind of sad. That. I know you say you don't like me saying it, but two things could be right. We can't spoke. Two things could be right. I feel like uh, black legends are being attacked. I feel like they're digging up a lot of old shit from the past. They are. But I also feel like R. Kelly and Michael Jackson are guilty. So I definitely agree. When it's all when it's all said and done, I understand. I definitely the, agree with our Kelly. I understand the hate that it may bring and the 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 disappointment that it may bring. That if like if you thought R. Kelly was a legend, Mike ja Michael Jackson is ten times like this man is global. Like he's an icon. R. Kelly is an African American legend. Michael Jackson is a global icon. But, like you said before, though, he hasn't had the chance to tell the he story. He hasn't had a chance to tell the like, story. What, what's going to happen when they do this shit to LeBron James in 15 years? It's a, it, it, and that, that's it to Michael Jordan. And, and that's what it's going to do, I'm going to take it out. It's going to affect their kids. Not even that. The, 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 the different narrative is what you said. We've been knowing this, or we've been speculating this about Michael Jackson for a decade. But it's all based on what people said. It don't matter, like not even on what they people said. Court, but they went to court. No, but no, but they went to court. On Michael Jackson. This has been charges. This okay, has on been. On Kelly, that's the end of the video. And Michael Jackson will have the official court documents 
the kid said it's nothing happened. Yeah, that that was that's even everybody. Still, that's even everybody still, even still, even still, even still, he would have never went to court had anybody said nothing happened. So how he end up going to court for people standing on the stand all of a sudden now saying nothing happened? Why am I in court in the first first place if nothing happened? Somebody I, I, had to have said it. Something happened. Now, listen, you listen. In court. I already know what you're finna say. Okay. I already know what you're finna okay. say. Okay. But she kinda got a point. Somebody had to say she, something. She, she kinda has a point. Okay. Think of Michael Jackson's actions. So I'm not saying be, listen, I'm not saying because somebody accused you, but people have accused you and we have proof of your actions. That is very sketchy. Remember what right. I said. His actions, as far as like him, like dealing with kids, like this. he is admitted to having a lot of kids around, right? Right. So it it, it kind of comes with that like that that notion of like if you want to put yourself in this position to have a lot of kids around, like. Yes, you don't have kids. Listen, listen, no, no, listen, 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 and I know, and I know, I know what you, I know what you gonna say, bro. We shit on people for not fucking with their community. And I, and I, and I, and I know what you gonna say. I know what you gonna say because I, I watch Michael Jackson documentary from way back in the day. He just really fucked with giving back to kids. Like that was his main thing. It wasn't about giving back to communities. It wasn't about giving back to cultures. It was about giving back to kids. And he explained that I do this because I didn't, I wasn't a, ch- a kid. I didn't have a childhood. He explains that the reason why I put so much emphasis on giving back to kids is because I was never a kid. And I, I understand that. I understand that. Right. But unfortunately, you really made it hard on yourself, bro. Like, you really made it hard on yourself. Because he was dealing with it. He's around. Not yeah. even because he was dealing with the kids around him, because he he em, he embraced kids that had nothing to do with him. You embrace you embrace. Listen, listen, listen. You embrace these kids. Did you touch them? They at one point they say you did. At one point they say you did. Let's just say we never know. Did you touch them? We right. never know. Did you molest them? We never know. Did you rape them? We never know. But you was always showing us some random. You, you had these bro, kids traveling with you on the road. Where are, where are your siblings? Where are your kids? Where are your kids? These kids, you're on a, you're on a. Where is that village? A, a yeah, right wide you. tour to tell you no. It's and not you bring an eleven year old on tour with you. If I'm, I'm bringing some pussy on tour with me, if I'm that nigga, I'm not even that. That's all I'm just saying. saying like, like that, like I'm, well, I find I'm, that re- like, like I, I mean, love Michael Jackson. The, 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 damn you, that's a hell of a benefit on the doubt. Okay, so th- this is my thing with, with, with that. Like, what if Meek Mill did? Meek Mill is not gonna do that. You don't know. You don't. What if Meek Mill did? That? What if Meek Mill said, "I'm gonna take some kids from Philly and take them on school and be safe and see some shit they never saw before," and then 20 years later, it's a documentary from out saying he touched the kids. I I so I work with kids. I don't I don't particularly associate like there are people I, I work with kids, I work I teach people. There are people who love I don't think you fucking, can use. they love kids. I, I get it. They I love it. kids. I period. period. They love do are these kids related to them? They love kids, G. You still go to the football Just games period, in your bro. old school. I go to my old school football games, I take these kids to I took these kids to the fucking uh Oh, uh, what's different. this called? The classic? That's different. The football class, the college football class yeah. in Chicago. I done took these kids places and shit like that. These kids not. I, did I take my niece and my nephew? It's no. It's, it's, it's why is it different? It's why different. Is it different? It's different. Why, why is it different? It's different because you don't have any strong. You haven't had any sexual abuse in your life, have you? No. Both of these people have stemmed from sexual. So that, that means that they definitely did something to the kids. They spent time. I mean, more than likely, more than likely, the system is That's habitual strong, when it comes to people who have been sexually strong, abused. Bro. Either That's they, strong. either they suffer from the abuse, or they also become an abuser. I'm, I'm, I'm because be honest, that's what they know. I'm be honest that's with you. I'm be honest. And with for real though. Both of y'all like. 
there's no answer to y'all to y'all opinion. Like there's no answer to it. That's, for it. that's, for that's it. what's oh, even more no. fucked up is that he not allowed to say he not allowed to give his point of view to say what bro, you just said. R. Kelly, bro, I saw the video. Cancel that nigga. <laughs> right, very true. But Michael Jackson, I'm, what I'm saying is him being around kids or choosing to have kids with him is not enough for me to say. That's an opportunity. Like, I, I would more so, based on just the fact of him being around kids, I wouldn't lean that more to how he did something to the kids. I would lean that more to it. I could see people taking that opportunity. If, well, it's, it's one more thing I would say something. I could see people taking that opportunity True. say, oh, this nigga did That's why you need to watch the docuseries. That's so, why you need to watch it. Because guess what? Guess what? Uh, guess what? Because guess what? There is footage. There's footage and there's recordings and there are phone calls with a lot of Michael Jackson's conversations he was having with these kids on the phone and with these parents on the phone. Saying what? Saying orchestrating, 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 flying them out, the kids staying with them, and knowing those living, the living arrangements while they are visiting Michael Jackson. A lot of those phone calls during that docuseries is pertaining to that. So at least you see so, that there is a heavily, there is a parent, there is a parent's presence right there. It's a little heavy. But then the the concern starts to raise on a Michael Jackson point is that the kids and the parents of Michael Jackson, it started off with the kids staying in the room with the parents and everybody just accompanying Michael Jackson. Then it got to, oh, well, the kids want to, they want to sleep over in Michael Jackson's room. Okay, well, cool. Well, the parents are going to stay next door. Then it got to, okay, my son still want to sleep in the bed with Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson still want my son to sleep in the bed with him. But now I'm on the whole west wing of the hotel. I have no contact Le- to get into the Legally, you know what that's called? That's when circumstantial. It's circumstantial evidence. It's like it look good, good but shit. that don't mean it it's facts. It look good. It look good, but it don't mean it's facts. Some of these kids' memories, well, Bro, at the time of the recording. I, I, I just, like, I just had, I don't even want to speak too much about my actual professional situation, but we just had students thing. come from a university. They on spring break. This whole week they was at my school. I'm not bullshitting y'all at all. They was at my school from Monday to Friday. Friday was the last day that they had to go back to school to college that they came from. For that whole week, they was just working with our kids from, you know, 9 o'clock in the morning to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. On that Friday when they left, we had kids bawling, fucking crying, G. For five days, bro. Bawling, crying like they did. He just said that I'm finna go through 20 years. I'm talking about... 20, you walk in the second grade classroom, G, they're bawling, crying for 20 minutes. For these I people, love y'all so much. Me. And if you go look on these people Instagram pages, the, kid, the, the, the college students that were there, they are oh, our kids. I love these kids. I, you look like, G, it's been these kids five days ago. But, and I'm not, I'm not devaluing their relationship because it's real, but I'm just letting y'all know how the attachment, it happens fast, G. There's so we talk about five days. Especially with, from somebody some who's never had a childhood. So, so, There's why, that. so, that's why what y'all saying, Michael Jackson, all the kids wanted to stay in his room, that's how fucking kids are, Exactly. Kids. That's how kids exactly. are, baby. so, you got to be able to touch the fucking kids, bro. It came to a problem, it came to a problem, it that's came to a problem, the parents like, allowed that too often, they were comfortable with that, it. That's, that's I'm not going to be comfortable with my son sleeping in the room with you. That's why I was going to fucking listen to that teacher. How does that fall on Michael Jackson? What do you How mean? Does How does that, that problem with Michael Jackson? Is the parent okay with it? And, and because what? he had to go to court with it before. Because he had to go to court with it. He went to court. So I'm just saying, when LeBron James, when, when, when they say, oh, we call it some uh, LeBron James some crack cocaine and fucking little kids 20 years from now, y'all gonna believe that shit too, right? So whatever they talk, whatever, whatever they come, whatever they get you with. If they say he cheated with a white woman, I'll believe it because he like all the white people. Kend- Kendrick Lamar got a song called Mortal Men. I need you. Kendrick Lamar got a song called Mortal Men. I, I know. And saying. they say when she hit the fan, are you still a fan? <laughs> that's, that's the name. When she hit the fan, are you still a fan? So when they tell y'all I had cocaine in my car, are y'all gonna right? walk off on me like y'all did with? Michael Jackson and Marvin Gaye and everybody else, they shitted on all the other black heroes. They shitted on and Mount Martin King cheated on his wife and my, uh, my, Michael Jordan had this problem. Like, all these niggas supposed to be perfect. Oh, this nigga ain't perfect, but fuck him. When shit hit the fan, I used to the fan. That, that, that's yeah. the question of the song. Yeah. Right? 
So it's, a, it's like a 12 minute song. Go listen to that shit. It's good as fuck. Because it, it definitely applies to this it's shit. It's not on the uh, uh, It's on the song. 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 It's like, it is a cold ass Tupac interview. Super cold. A cold ass, un- super cold. Not unreleased Tupac interview. Yeah. But it sounds like Kendrick Belan's interview. Interview on Tupac is so crazy. It's so cold. Like, don't listen to that shit, because it definitely apply to this. R. Kelly, fuck R. Kelly, he's, he's wild as hell. With the Michael Jackson shit, I'm not sold on that. She famous, Kendrick Lamar, because... If, if that Michael Jackson shit come out to be true, that nigga needs to be in jail like everybody else. But for the shit that I'm hearing right now... It's circumstantial. Yeah. It's circumstantial, we don't have this side of the story. Very unfortunate, but, uh... Yeah. We gonna wrap it up. Hopefully, What's your y'all take on it? Uh, our, I would hope all y'all say that nigga R. Kelly smoke. <laughs> like, how do people finish? So they R. Kelly, Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson is questionable. R. Kelly, all, it's, it's like a two part question. A. You can see the you video. You believe they guilty? Now nah, fuck that. And B. Are you still gonna rock with that music? R. Kelly video is on Bora. Bro, you can see it, bro. You can't promote. I went. Bro, I didn't say I whack it off to it, but I went and found it. It's all the world. Two questions for the two situations. Are they guilty? Do you feel they guilty or not guilty? Do you feel they guilty or they not guilty? That's our Kelly. Would you still entertain their music? And Janae and Keo owe him a chance. Would you still entertain their music? He's even booty in the tape, bro. They're like, two. I thought she was just saying, like, they had keys to on the fucking video. No, so, but you know how she made gro- eating groceries popular, bro? This nigga was eating ass like 2004. I'm you right. seen the video? He was off. Whoa. No, Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That was your Mexican. No, so we cut knowledge. That was your Mexican. We, we got cut knowledge. Yes, we got. Your tongue is out. We're cutting this. Oh, on camera. We're cutting this. Puerto Rican booty. <laughs> 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 Oh, the whole time. Don't hold time. Don't hold time. You ask. But you.